KC TV Lawan rasa pi tak ke Frank Motors Kat Jakarta di kali ke pertemai Jom ke Tata Motors Halat ko ni silong Ringkat baka net foodish Ordaan ma pi Ngin wan ramen ni Hakir do bieng jom pi Ki pat ba nong seng senong Jom ke mau yong Bat ke senong mai kuli Kilapan pawai ke jingbom hun ni agar kami pun baik buat apa yang kesorkar mekelia apa kesorkar asam. Ha ke jingle jingo jong noy lam ke liang persia umukul sangma. Ha ke sini balang jong kan real terguya jong arah jar arpu ar. Ki noy lam jong kini ki artli jisnong kila kerpat di doktor mukul sangma. Ba un pun sengau ya kini ke jing tawa ke jong ki hamat kesorkar mekelia. Kenang baki nam sya pengat dalai lai ru em sya kejela asam. Ha ke ni ke jing pun baik buat bak kesorkar mekelia bat kesorkar asam. Kila dep ya say wat ya ke memorandum of understanding. Lani ke dolar jing es tu jing buat hakmat u menteri ketnat kampu ayeng keri u amit sya kepala long dang shen han new delhi. There need not be any situation where our people should be unnecessarily subjected to some kind of uh, suspicion, doubt, fear because of what is happening along the border. There is a uh, situation which is happening here after a post signing of the MOU. Apparently, some of the authorities from Assam are coming and then indicating that uh, areas as to which area will be probably, you know, the boundary between the two states and so the district administration on behalf of the state government uh, should take the responsibility of ensuring that areas where we don't have any scope of discussion in order to resolve any dispute in other words where we don't have dispute from the very beginning uh, there should not be any scope for creating that kind of unnecessary tension among the people because particularly uh, it is very uh, easy for the administration also that areas which are along the interested border of Michael and Assam, all these areas belong to certain Himas. Okay. You have the Hima Milit, then other Himas. And based on these only all the documentation, based on whatever revenue records are were available since the time of uh, this uh, era, all these things have been compiled and we have submitted. Based on this, this whole discussion is going on. So these particular areas don't fall under the areas of the law. So there should not be any attempt to further uh, expand the scope of discussion pertaining to areas which do not fall under the areas of the law. But I am told that uh, people have been confronted by this kind of situation where people from Assam are coming and indicating uh, that uh, this part belongs to Assam. This should be mutually uh, discussed and agreed upon to create no further uh, confusion. Based on what we hear from the people on the ground zero, another part is what is available as part of the uh, document uh, which is uh, a, a document pertaining to the MOU signed between the two state governments to resolve the long-standing issue in respect of areas of difference between the two states. Now we have to understand one important aspect. In the first instance, the genesis of this problem, the areas of difference between the two states, why is it there in the first instance? Okay. It is there in the first instance because it was not accepted. After the creation of the new state, then the uh, Northeast Reorganization Act, then subsequently the Survey of India demarcating the interested border, this was not accepted because the areas which fell within the jurisdiction of various uh, kingship, you know, that Himamilim, Himanongspung, like that, there are various CMCs and also the Akhang lands in respect of uh, the western part. They were in the process of demarcation by Survey of India tagged with the part of Assam. Now, you cannot divide Imam Ilim's area, okay? Because that falls within the jurisdiction of the Hima. That means Milim CMC. And uh, uh, they are all areas 
within the six scheduled area. Therefore, there is a, a constitutional provision which provides the protection in respect of any chances of alienation of land. Now, in the process of this discussion, what has happened was that okay, Assam demanded that okay, you uh, have to substantiate your stand to justify your claim over the land. So this was precisely what was done between 2010 and 2011. It took time because we wanted to be uh, completely um, uh, uh, clear, abundantly clear in indicating why we claim the areas which we are claiming. Meaning to indicate the justification by compiling all the records, all the land records, all the revenue records that was available from the time of British era, pre-independence era. And they are all available, based on which we have submitted in 2011, indicating that these, these, these areas fall. So there is a complete clarity. There is no lack of clarity. Okay, it's simple. <coughs> Therefore, all those areas which fall within the jurisdiction of these different uh, HIMAs, different CMC, they have to remain within the CMC. See, in respect of Meghalaya, the land do not belong to the government. Government doesn't have any land. The land belong to different Himas. And therefore, they are administered accordingly as per the various available uh, traditional and customary laws and practices. The Hima delegates the power to issue sanats to the headman, to the local headman. Now, so much headman. Sanat on the Monday. Now, so the they are under Milim uh, CMC. No, Milim CMC. When you come in, uh, how can you allow the land belonging to Milim CMC to be divided and given to Assam? I don't know whether this particular power has been given to anybody who are representing the authority in the government. Okay. Because the ownership of land remains with the Hima. Okay. Now, if there is a change of ownership. If there is an alienation of land from that ownership by virtue of any kind of transfer, mm -hmm. then uh, there is a transfer of property. Mm -hmm. Transfer of property comes with a consent. Legal procedure, if you look at, there is a transfer of property act. You know, there are various laws which can be probably referred to for our own guidance. So there will be certain uh, involvement of the interpretation interpretation of the law itself also but the fact is that since it was an issue which has to be resolved between the two states we wanted to ensure that okay this is the boundary this is the himalayan therefore if you go by the northeast reorganization act all the land within the jurisdiction of united khasi zaintials autonomous district council forms part of the state of meghalaya that means hima milim is part of that it's simple but this complexity is not being understood because uh, there is some kind of lack of understanding that in the state of Meghalaya, this land actually belongs to the Hima, so you don't have the right to discuss with the counterpart unless, unless you take on board the whole Hima. This headman doesn't have the power to agree to alienate the land. Okay, you may be uh, somebody who is uh, having a plot of land. You don't have the right to say that, okay, I don't want to be part of the Hima, so I want to be part of Assam. You don't have the right. Because it is an integral part of the Hima Milim. So there is a complexity associated. Now, Assam has to understand this complexity associated with these uh, areas of difference. Also, the state of Meghalaya, the authorities who are trying to uh, embark upon this negotiation, they have to understand these uh, inherent complexities. The government of India also have to understand the inherent complexity. Since there was a little, you know, that Chaltai attitude, that they will, they were not trying to have that in-depth understanding about the complexities associated with this interstate border. That was the reason why we have the areas of difference. Now, even if they say that we want to resolve, like what they did in 2000, uh, 1972, post 1972, if it is not accepted, then the area of difference remains. <coughs> it will not be resolved. Because it is not inconsistent of the principle of defending our land within the uh, 
purview of you know that protecting the interests of our people. That's why Himalayan, Imam Ilim, then various other Himals, various other CM ships. So also in Garoils we have the Akhung land. So Akhung land belong to certain clan. Now clan who have inherited this land from the forefathers, they have to protect the you know uh, the overall land which they have inherited. And this is precisely the reason why we have the mandate of the Sikh schedule. And based on this, we are also vested with the responsibility to protect the interests of the people. Here in the instant case, what has happened? I have cautioned the government, saying that the approach that you are adopting is completely wrong. It is reflective of lack of in-depth understanding of the complexities associated with this areas of difference and the solution thereof. And uh, from the way they are doing to resolve this issue, it is, uh, it, is, it is abundantly clear that they have not tried to understand the complexities associated. What they have done is that, okay, they want to resolve the uh, uh, issue pertaining to the areas of difference in respect of six areas. Six areas, totaling 36 square kilometers in respect of area. Now, uh, if you look at uh, the MOU and the resultant fallout of that MOU is that 18 square kilometer will go to Assam, 18 square kilometer will come to Meghalaya. That means they have said in Kipia 50-50 Lelo. Mm -hmm. uh, is it a way to resolve this issue? Kilometer hola chidok square kilometer ko chichet chichet baki rongwa. And they have resolved karma. Changani meeting karimina umjok. Two meetings between two chief ministers, Thikai Baitoya, 1818 Bhakar Is it the way? Now I have reasons to believe that maybe the Assam counterpart is happy because they have a chief minister who is agreeing to everything. A chief minister of Meghalaya who is agreeing to everything with Assam. That's why they are in a hurry to resolve because it actually benefits Assam. So Hemanta Biso Sarma, the counterpart chief minister, honorable chief minister of Assam will be happy. Yeah, it is not our intent to either please or displease anybody, but to ensure that we do justice to the interests of our people. We have uh, created the state of Meghalaya from the erstwhile undivided Assam. But what is the uh, intent? The intent is to allow our people to have the scope of you know governing your own area with our, your own genius. And therefore, these areas fall within the different CMCs, and this particular area, my falls under Hema Milim CMC.